the time has come. That is right, guys. The time has come. Champion's Path official release date is today, and to celebrate... I mean, we celebrated yesterday with the double boxes, but today we have the Elite Trainer box. Now, everybody is wanting this box. It's sold out pretty much everywhere. I was lucky enough to get two. Got this one to open today, and another one to open up in a future video. Can we pull either of the two Charizards? Would be fantastic if we could. Not saying that we're definitely gonna, but you do get inside of this box. I mean, you can actually probably see it there on the back. I'll show it on the other camera down here because it's easier. You do get a Charizard promo card in here anyway. So hopefully, we'll be pulling one of those today. Well, we're going to pull that one out of the box anyway, but you know what I mean? The other Charizards. The other Charizards. Thank you very much for being here, guys. As always, really do appreciate it. I would like to thank Voltex for supporting this channel. Amcrest for supporting this channel. I'd like to thank, once again, my sponsor for yesterday's video, Watts Cards. Don't forget to use the code POKEMANDAN at the checkout to get yourself 5% off on their web store. And today, I'm going to be introducing to you my second sponsor and that is a lovely little uh, geeky comic book shop here in my hometown in Devon called Temporal Sci-Fi. Take a look. So that is Temporal Sci-Fi, fantastic shop for all your geeky needs, comic books, DVDs, figurines, and most importantly, most importantly, single cards. So if you don't want to be rummaging around, opening up loads and loads of packs, spending hundreds and hundreds of pounds, or dollars, whatever, they do single cards. So if you need anything, I will link their Facebook in the description down below all you've got to do is send them a message on Facebook let them know what the card is that you need and they'll let you know if they've got it in stock or not and how much it's gonna be it's as simple as that they'll have a website going up soon as well when that'll be I don't know um, but I'll obviously let you guys know as soon as I can once that website is up and running which will be sort of like a web store so you'll be able to order things online on their shop and get them mailed out to you. So there we go. That is Temporal Sci-Fi here in Torquay. Right, I've waffled on for long enough now. Let's crack into this Elite Trainer box. Where'd I put those scissors? There they are. You should really keep things to hand. I mean, scissors, like, 
to hand, kind of dangerous, but um, yeah, I'll um, use this camera over here to uh, show you what I'm doing on the opening. Obviously being very, very careful with the scissors. Ask an adult, like I say, when using scissors, even if you are around adult, ask an adult anyway. Just made a small little cut in the plastic, and then I'm just gonna tear the rest off. Now, there are a lot of people out there that are keeping these things sealed because they're gonna be worth a bit of money. They are, as every Elite Trainer box is, a limited print. So they don't, they, they only do so many and then that's it, they're done, they're gone. Finito. It's the same for every Elite Trainer box, but Champion's Path, because of the Charizards that are in the box and in the packs, these ain't gonna be around for long. So if you can get your hands on one while you can, do it. Wise investment if you're gonna keep it sealed and very, very good chances of pulling the Zards from the packs inside because Elite Trainer boxes normally only have eight packs. These have got 10, 10 packs. Anyway, we'll have a quick flick through this book here. There we go, there's that Charizard and the other one right there on that page. Some beautiful looking cards right there, those rainbows. There's only the one gold secret rare card in this set, so there's not much to be hunting for. Got that Dreadnought VMAX already, It's great. Yeah, there's, there's um, not many cards in this set, which which is nice if you know you want to collect a small set. But uh, it's getting your hands on boxes and packs of these sets because I think the pin badge box sets are going to be in in plentiful supply. So you haven't got to worry about that so much. There he is, the OG himself. So yeah, that's a quick little brief look inside the player's guide. Chuck that there behind me. There we go. Oh, definitely not going to be binning that sleeve. Alrighty. Inside the box. Keep these bits safe. Alright, we've got the little trading card game rules inside there. And there he is. Charizard. Now a lot of these have had crimping errors where the card's fallen down to the bottom of the pack, gone into where the heat sealer goes across and loads of the cards have been like heat crimped across the bottom and miscut by the blade as well. So I'm very thankful that this hasn't happened to mine. And the centering on the front, which is very important for these cards because they're going to be worth some money one day uh, due to how much they're in demand. Centering on the front of that looks perfect. And the same again on the back, so I'm in two minds as to whether I'm going to actually take that out of the pack or not. Leave a comment down below, let me know what you think I should do. Do I keep it in the pack or do I take it out of the pack and put it into a sleeve? Let me know. For now, he's going to sit just down there. What you can see because if I put them up here in the corner at the top, you're not going to be able to see because, well, that's where I am. Card sleeves, Charizard card sleeves. Very nice indeed. Put those to one side. Champion's Path code card. Don't need to say anything about code cards on this channel, you should know the score by now. Pack of energy cards, which can. Go in the box over there with all my other energy cards. I got the uh, dividers for the box for when you put the cards in there and sort things out. You got the uh, thingies there, the counters, and the damage dice and everything with a very, very cool glittery orange dice to celebrate Charizard and all this splendor. And then we have. 10 packs of Champion's Path. Just gonna get straight into them. Not even gonna look at the artworks. You know the score with the code cards. They're all white and green. It doesn't matter. Water energy. Choke. 
Beedrill, Arbok, Rockruff, just hold them over here, a bit easier for you to see then, Weedle, Swablu, Kakuna, Pokeball, Center Scorch is the reverse rare, very nice indeed, and Galarian Corsola V on the first pack. So we got a double whammy on the first pack. So that Galarian Corsola can definitely go into a sleeve. And because that Center Scorch is a reverse rare, I'm going to sleeve it up to. There we go. So that is a great way to start off this opening. We got a V card and a reverse rare. Alrighty. The next, thought I saw a bit of whitening on that that card there, which would have been the rare. Got Pokemon Center Lady, Team Yell Grunt, Victini, Inkay, Roly Coly, Sizzlipede, Purloin, Scraggy, Great Ball is the reverse, and Center Scorch Holographic as the rare. Alrighty, well, I'm just going to um, replace the reverse rare in that sleeve with the hollow because I'm weird like that pop that center scorch there there we go alright on to the next don't forget to subscribe if you're new here guys really appreciate the support big love to all of you don't forget to find me on my social medias Facebook, Instagram, Twitter all linked down below as well Absol, Rotom Bike, Vulpix, beautiful card, Machop, Rolicoli, Carvana, Potion, Kabu is the reverse, and what we got here, Duraludon V. Now, one I've already got, so we're starting to double up on the V cards, but doesn't matter. Doesn't matter a bit. I'll end up just trading it for something that I do need. Alrighty. One, two, three, four. Well, I went for five then. That would have sucked. I've done that. The rare would have been on top then. Got Rotom Phone. Absol. Great Ball. Purloin. Niki. Sizzlipede. Hey, ha Hatena. Two Nickets in the same pack? That's really odd. Okay, whatever. We got Reverse on Leaf Energy and Galarian Obstagoon Holofoil. I'm not going to even bother putting that one in a sleeve because I've got like four of them now. He's obviously going to be a very common Holofoil. Doesn't matter. Whatever. Whatever. Fighting Energy, Teeny, Sonya, Kabu, Pokeball, Weedle, Kakuna, Carvana, Potion, Kakuna is the reverse, and Machamp Holographic as our rare. That is a very awesome looking Machamp. There we go. Alright, we are halfway through. Five packs left to go. Fire energy. Is it a sign? Is it a sign? Suspicious food tin. Victini. Hyper Potion, Swablu, Machop, Galarian Zigzagoon, Vulpix, Rockruff, Rotom Phone as the reverse, and Eldegoss V! Awesome. Now from what I understand about Eldegoss V is that this artwork only applies to the English version. So that's the packs that come out with the English language on. That artwork is different for the Champion's Path packs that are released in the other languages, whatever whatever the names of the sets are, I, I, I can't remember now. 
I know there was one guy in Thailand or whatever that opened up one of these ETBs and uh, got the Elder Goss and was very happy because it was artwork that he had never seen before. There we go. Milo, Great Ball, Absol, Potion, Full Heal, Roly Coly, Machop, Sizzlipede, Sonya is the reverse, and Lycanroc Holographic is the rare. Another one I'm not going to bother sleeving because I know I've already got. Alrighty. Still nothing big yet, no full arts, no V Maxes, no secret rare or Charizards. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm really do. I, I really am hoping that I pull one. It, it's, you know, I, I would love to. I, I, you'd see me do some weird stuff. I mean, yeah, I just Hatterini holographic with a Beedrill reverse. So that one I don't think I've got yet. So I'm gonna sleeve that one up. Last two packs. We've got an Obstagoon and a Gardevoir. So I'll do the Gardevoir last. Do the Obstagoon now because that's the order they were in. And also, if I remember rightly, yesterday's video, I got a Gardevoir on the first pack. So seems fitting to end on the Gardevoir. Water Energy. Hop. V Drill. Hatterem. Inke, Atena, Kakuna, Rockruff, Vulpix, Hatterene is the reverse rare, and Scraggy Holographic as the holographic in that pack, which again is one that I've already got, so I'm not going to bother sleeving for now. Last pack of Champions Path for today's opening, guys. More Champions Path to come soon, don't worry. A few other videos that are going to go up between now and then. But we have plenty more Champions Path. That's going to be opened up in the next couple of weeks, if that. Maybe less than that. Plenty. And I mean plenty of Darkness Ablaze. And some absolutely bonkers pulls. So make sure you stay tuned for that and subscribe. Hit that little bell notification as well so you can get notified every time. I upload a video. Okay, Kakuna Reverse is the last, and our last card for today is. Damn, we doubled up on something in this ETV. I was really hoping we wouldn't. Alright, we got ourselves another Machamp. Which is a bit of a shame, but that is the way the cookie crumbles, as it were. But well, I thank you all so very much for being here today. I really do appreciate it. A massive thank you to Temporal Sci-Fi for being today's sponsor in this video. There are going to be many, many other videos coming up in the future sponsored by them and What's Cards, my other sponsor. So a massive shout out to them as well. Don't forget to use Pokeman Dan at the checkout at whatscards.co.uk to get 5% off your total order, whether it's the stuff that's out now, like Champion's Path, all your vivid voltage pre-orders get all that stuff in in time for christmas do it go on go over there now anyway until next time guys stay well stay safe Bye.